For centuries, the Jordan River has been a symbol of life, spirituality, and historical significance. It has been mentioned in religious texts, witnessed the baptism of Jesus Christ, and served as a vital water source for countless communities throughout the ages. But now, the Jordan River has dried up, and something so terrifying has emerged beneath its surface. Join us as we unravel 20 of the most shocking discoveries that have been made beneath the surface of the Jordan River since it dried up. Number 20. Shark Statue Imagine flowing through the waters of Lake Geneva, surrounded by the breathtaking beauty of the Swiss mountain. Suddenly, your calm swim is interrupted by the sight of a huge shark statue lurking just below the surface. This unexpected encounter is not just a creation of your imagination, it's a reality that has baffled locals and tourists alike. The origins of this enigmatic statue remain hidden in mystery, adding an extra layer of intrigue to its already captivating presence. Some speculate that it was commissioned as an art installation, while others believe it may have been part of a publicity stunt or even a playful prank. Regardless of its genesis, one thing is certain. The shark statue has become an iconic landmark, drawing curious visitors from far and wide. Standing at over eight feet tall and crafted from durable materials, it's proof of the ingenuity and creativity of its creators. Its frightening smile and piercing eyes seem to follow you as you swim past, creating an unreal yet exciting atmosphere. But the intrigue doesn't end there. Rumors have it that the shark statue may have been featured in a Hollywood film, adding a touch of cinematic flair to its already compelling story. Whether it's a relic from the silver screen or a modern-day marvel, one thing is for certain, the shark statue is a sight to behold. Number 19. Yonaguni Monument Yonaguni Monument, also known as the Japanese Atlantis. Hidden below the sky-blue waves, about 25 meters below the surface off the coast of Japan, lies an underwater rock pyramid that has baffled scientists and adventurers alike for centuries. But who crafted this enigmatic structure, and when? The answers remain elusive, hidden in mystery and intrigue. Despite its mysterious origins, the Yonaguni Monument is accessible to anyone bold enough to dive down and explore its secrets. However, there's a catch. The waters surrounding this ancient pyramid are filled with hammerhead sharks, and the currents can be alarming. Only the most daring souls dare to venture into these uncharted depths. Marine geologist Masaki Kimura believes that these formations are not the work of nature, but rather man-made stepped standing stones. However, other scientists dismiss this theory as mere wishful thinking, arguing that the structures are simply natural formations composed of medium to very fine sandstone, dating back millions of years. Divers have reported sightings of ancient drawings carved into the rocks, as well as fragments of what appear to be castles, roads, monuments, and even a stadium. Some speculate that these remnants could be evidence of a long-lost civilization, perhaps the ancient Yamatai culture. Despite these tantalizing clues, experts caution against jumping to conclusions. None of these claims have been conclusively proven, leaving the true nature of the Yonaguni Monument hidden in uncertainty. Number 18. Dinosaur Tracks As rivers worldwide reduce and water levels decline, they unveil astonishing glimpses into the past. One such revelation occurred in Texas a few years ago, when a riverbed dried up, revealing a remarkable trail of huge footprints. These footprints, resembling huge triangular shapes, were believed to have been left behind by the fearsome dinosaur, a massive prehistoric lizard weighing an estimated 14,000 pounds. This area, once bustling seashore, now offered a rare opportunity to witness the legacy of a dinosaur that roamed the earth 113 million years ago. But the surprises don't end there. The recent drought in China, coupled with a sweltering heat wave, led to a remarkable discovery in the Yangtze River. As the water levels collapsed, three Buddhist statues emerged from the depths after lying hidden for over 600 years. Perched atop the highest part of an island in southwestern China, these statues, believed to date back to the Ming and Qing dynasties, offer a glimpse into ancient spiritual traditions. One of the statues portrays a serene monk seated on a sacred pillar, releasing a sense of timeless calm. Carved into the rugged rock outcrop, these iconic sculptures provide a tangible link to China's rich cultural heritage, offering a window into the wisdom and spirituality of bygone eras. The drought has also revealed the remains of a century-old shipwreck, adding yet another layer to the history unveiled by withdrawing waters. Number 17. Dead Sea Scrolls the Jordan River area never fails to surprise us with new discoveries each passing year. 
One of the most astounding findings in this region is undoubtedly the Dead Sea Scrolls. These ancient manuscripts, unearthed between 1947 and 1956 in 11 caves near Kirbet Qumran on the northwestern shores of the Dead Sea, provide a fascinating glimpse into the past. Dating back approximately 2,000 years, from the 3rd century BCE to the 1st century CE, these scrolls are not just old, they're extraordinary in many ways. Dead Sea Scrolls are the earliest known evidence of biblical texts in the world. Most of the scrolls were written in Hebrew, with some in Aramaic or Greek. They were penned on homemade parchment, or, in a few cases, on pieces of paper. Despite many of the scrolls surviving only as fragments, scholars have painstakingly reconstructed approximately 950 different manuscripts of various lengths. These manuscripts can be divided into three main categories, biblical, speculative, and unbeliever. The biblical manuscripts include around 200 copies of books from the Hebrew Bible, with fragments from nearly every book except Esther. The apocryphal manuscripts contain previously unknown or untranslated works, shedding new light on ancient texts. Meanwhile, the sectarian manuscripts bound a wide range of literary genres, including religious commentary, legal writings, ceremonial texts, and terrible compositions. While most scholars believe that the scrolls belong to the Essenes, a Jewish sect that resided at Qumran, it's worth noting that not all of the scrolls were written by them. Some were likely composed or copied elsewhere and later brought to the community. Number 16. Lion City Lion City, nestled in the heart of China, a historical treasure trove that has captivated the imaginations of many. Some even liken it to the fabled Atlantis of the East, but behind its mystical beauty lies a tragic tale of loss and sacrifice. In 1959, China embarked on a monumental endeavor to construct a dam and hydroelectric station. To accomplish this feat, they needed to create a vast reservoir, which meant relocating approximately 300,000 people. As part of this massive undertaking, Lion City, with its rich history and centuries-old heritage, was intentionally submerged below the waters. The decision to flood Lion City in the name of progress was met with sorrow and disbelief. Generations of families had called this place home, and its sinking represented the striking out of their cultural legacy. But amidst the dark tale of Lion City, there are also stories of wonder and intrigue. Far from the shores of China, in the crystal-clear waters off the coast of the Bahamas, lies the enigmatic Bimini Road. Stretching over 450 meters, this underwater formation resembles a paved road, sparking curiosity and speculation about its origins. Like the Yonaguni Monument, the Bimini Road has fueled debates among scholars and enthusiasts alike. Some believe it to be remnants of a lost civilization, while others attribute its formation to natural processes, suggesting that beach rock erosion over time has given rise to its block-like appearance. Number 15 underwater crop circles. Imagine crop circles with those mysterious designs that magically appear in farmers' fields. Some are found under the water, and guess who the mastermind behind these underwater wonders is? None other than the spotted pufferfish from Japan. These pint-sized pufferfish, measuring just five inches long, are the creative geniuses responsible for these stunning works of art. As they swim along, they flap their fins, causing sand to stir and form intricate patterns on the ocean floor. It's quite a feat especially for a fish of their size. These underwater circles aren't just random play, they're part of an elaborate mating ritual. The female puffer fish lay their eggs in the center of these circles, creating a safe haven for their offspring. It's a remarkable display of nature's ingenuity and creativity. It took scientists over a decade to uncover the true identity of the artists behind these mysterious circles. For years, they were baffled by the complicated patterns, but eventually, they cracked the case and discovered that it was the work of these tiny fish all along. Number 14. A century-old shipwreck. Amidst the devastation of the dry period, there lies a silver lining, the opportunity to explore the secrets of ancient civilizations. Beyond the sunken relics of ships and submerged statues, the recent drought in Europe has revealed yet another fascinating discovery. The remnants of warships that have remained hidden beneath riverbeds for over a century. These warships, or hulks, are more than just decaying remnants of maritime history. They are tangible links to the past, offering insights into naval warfare and seafaring traditions of bygone eras. As the water levels withdraw, 
these once majestic vessels emerge from their watery graves, their weathered shell bearing witness to the passage of time. Among the most remarkable finds is the discovery of a huge shipwreck that has resurfaced in the Mississippi River. This giant vessel, now exposed to the elements after years of being submerged, stands as a silent guardian of a bygone era. Its rusted framework and crumbling timbers tell the tale of a storied past, bringing to mind images of daring trips and epic battles fought on the high seas. But the significance of these shipwrecks extends beyond mere historical curiosity. They serve as invaluable archaeological sites, offering researchers a unique opportunity to study maritime technology. And he says that even though the Mississippi River is so low, it's not likely that you'll come across a pirate treasure chest. Naval architecture and the daily lives of sailors from centuries past. Number 13. Settlement. Discoveries at this site have completely changed our understanding of the area. Typically, when we come across old buildings and structures, we assume they were homes for people. However, if these structures were actually elaborate housing for animals, it suggests a scale of activity much larger than previously thought. Several factors support the idea that this was a traveling settlement rather than a permanent one. The location of the site, coupled with the harsh climate of the region, makes it more plausible. The landscape is often dry and dehydrated, with temperatures soaring to a blistering 45 degrees Celsius. Such conditions would have made life challenging and uncomfortable, especially for those not used to such extreme temperatures. With minimal rainfall, water scarcity would have been a constant concern, making agriculture and even drinking water sources scarce. Furthermore, the site's separation, shielded by surrounding hills, indicates a desire for privacy and protection. This suggests that the settlers may have been migrants, seeking refuge from potential threats posed by other groups. The natural defenses provided by the landscape would have made it an attractive location for a new settlement, offering security against potential attackers. While these theories may seem speculative, they provide valuable insights into the possible lifestyles of ancient inhabitants. Number 12 the Antikythera Mechanism. The Antikythera Mechanism, arguably one of the most intriguing discoveries from the depths of the ocean, was unearthed off the coast of the Greek islands bearing the same name. Its discovery in 1901 within the wreckage of a ship immediately captured the fascination of all who beheld it. What made it so captivating? Well, upon further investigation, researchers realized that this ancient artifact was no ordinary find. It was a sophisticated analog computer dating back to around 82 BC. This mechanism served as an astronomical tool, allowing users to track the movements of celestial bodies, such as the moon and the sun, predict eclipses, and more. This would have been invaluable for sailors navigating the seas, as they relied on the positions of the stars and planets to guide their voyages. However, despite our understanding of its function, the Antikythera mechanism remains hidden in mystery. While we may comprehend how it operates, the real deal lies in how the ancient Greeks managed to create such a remarkably accurate device. Despite numerous attempts by modern scholars to replicate it, none have succeeded in the same level of precision achieved by the original. Number 11. Bimini Road the mysterious Bimini Road was eased away off the coast of North Bimini. This underwater marvel lies peacefully below the surface, resting at a depth of about 18 feet and stretching for approximately half a mile. The Bimini Road isn't an ordinary rocky territory. It's composed of a unique type of limestone known as beach rock, which is native to the Bahamas. What's truly fascinating is that these rocks appear to have been intentionally arranged and built, carved over time by the forces of nature into perfectly rounded shapes. It's as if someone or something had carefully crafted this underwater pathway. Bimini Road was actually mentioned in a prediction by the renowned American magician Edgar Cayce, a staggering 30 years before its discovery. Casey boldly claimed that this underwater formation held the key to uncovering the ancient temples of Atlantis, the legendary lost civilization. While Atlantis may seem like a far-fetched tale, many believe there's more to it, especially when you consider the supernatural perfection of the Bimini Road. It's almost as if this underwater pathway serves as a portal to a forgotten world, waiting to be unlocked and explored. Number 10. Mummified Crocodile these ancient river monsters weren't preserved by human hands, but rather by the forces of nature itself. A team of archaeologists stumbled upon remarkable finds while clearing sand pits near the dried-up banks of the River Nile. To their astonishment, they uncovered the remains of several ancient reptiles, including five crocodile heads and five completely intact, dried-up bodies. The sight of these mummified creatures left the team in wonder, 
offering a rare glimpse into the past. In Australia, another astonishing discovery shook the scientific community to its core. The prehistoric remains of an ancient crocodile were unearthed, challenging our understanding of crocodile evolution. This prehistoric predator once roamed the Earth a staggering 95 million years ago. Its discovery has forced experts to rethink the origins and evolution of crocodile species, shedding new light on the ancient creatures that once inhabited our planet. Each discovery brings us closer to unraveling the secrets of our planet's past, offering a glimpse into a world that existed long before humans walked the Earth. Number 9. Ancient Hunting Grounds Exploring the ancient hunting grounds along the Jordan River is no easy feat, as Dr. Ben, co-director of the Kerbet El Mastara Excavation Project, explains. With many aspects of material culture overlapping between different groups, distinguishing between them can be challenging. However, by carefully gathering facts and analyzing data, researchers inch closer to uncovering the truth behind the Exodus story. Recent evidence suggests that human activity along the banks of the Jordan River dates back a staggering 60,000 years. During this time, the area was filled with life as human creatures hunted large animals, including an extinct species of wild cattle. Excavations at the outlet of the Nahal Mahanaim stream revealed bone remains that provide compelling evidence of this ancient hunting ground. What makes this discovery even more fascinating is the manner in which these ancient hunters operated. The Nahal Mahanaim site served as a strategic location where human creatures ambushed, killed, and butchered animals. The identity of these hunters remains a mystery, with speculation ranging from prehistoric humans to modern humans, or even unknown species. What's remarkable is the efficiency with which these hunters operated. Despite having limited tools at their disposal, they successfully hunted large beasts like the European wild ox. Surprisingly, the metal accumulation at the site indicates a lack of complex tool use suggesting that hunters engaged in close-range combat with their catch, risking injury or death in the process. Recent discoveries of fish teeth in the dried-up parts of the Jordan River provide further insights into the activities of prehistoric humans. Analysis of these remains suggests that early years regularly gathered near the river some 870,000 years ago to cook and eat fish caught in nearby Lake Hula. Number 8. Train Graveyard Imagine stumbling upon a graveyard of trains outside New Jersey, a site that defies explanation. Unlike ships, which commonly find their final resting place in bodies of water, trains are typically confined to land. So how did they end up in this watery grave? The mystery deepens when we consider the origins of these trains. Constructed in the 1850s, they bear the mark of a bygone era. But what transpired after their creation remains hidden in uncertainty. Two steam engines now submerged pose a perplexing enigma. There are no historical records of their construction or loss, leaving us to wonder how they came to rest on the ocean floor. Some speculate they were lost in a storm while being transported from Boston to the Mid-Atlantic, but the absence of any wreckage raises more questions than answers. Were they securely fastened to a vessel? Or were they cast adrift? The absence of concrete evidence only adds to the intrigue. Despite the lack of clarity, fearless explorers can dive into these waters and explore the trains firsthand. Who knows what secrets lie waiting to be uncovered beneath the waves? So, if you're feeling adventurous, why not take the dive and embark on a journey to unravel the mysteries of the New Jersey train graveyard? Perhaps you'll be the one to unlock the secrets that have eluded others for so long. Number 7. Baltic Sea Anomaly in the icy waters of the northern Baltic Sea, Peter Lindbergh, Dennis Asberg, and their fearless Ocean X diving team embarked on a thrilling treasure hunt. Little did they know, they were about to stumble upon something far more perplexing than buried riches, what appeared to be a UFO. As their bombsite equipment captured images from the depths below, the team was greeted with an unclear yet unmistakable sight, a circular object spanning approximately 200 feet in diameter. But this was no ordinary rock formation. It boasted a multitude of peculiar features, ramps, stairs, and complicated structures that defied natural explanation. While skeptics dismissed the irregularity as a mere geological rare bird, Ocean X remained steadfast in their belief that they had uncovered something truly extraordinary. Their conviction only grew stronger when they encountered an unnatural electrical interference that disrupted their equipment, halting their progress. The question appears, was this mysterious object a genuine extraterrestrial craft or simply an elaborate trick? 
Despite their best efforts, Ocean X found themselves at a loss for answers. The mysterious nature of the Baltic Sea's irregularity continues to captivate the imagination, leaving both experts and laypeople alike pondering its origins. Whether it be an otherworldly artifact or a product of natural forces, one thing remains certain. The story of the Baltic Sea irregularity will continue to intrigue and mystify for years to come, ensuring its place as a tantalizing enigma in the record of maritime exploration. Number 6. Mammoth Tusk and Skull Walking along the peaceful riverbank, one may not only enjoy the richness of the fertile soil, but also stumble upon relics from a distant era, providing a fascinating glimpse into prehistoric times. Such an extraordinary discovery unfolded when an unafraid explorer embarked on a journey along the muddy banks of a Siberian river. Amidst the serene landscape, nestled within the flooded edges, lay an astonishing find, a mammoth tusk estimated to stretch a remarkable 10 feet in length. This huge artifact bore witness to the existence of ancient giants that roamed the earth millions of years ago, their presence echoing through the record of time. As the explorer ventured deeper into the riverbank's embrace, another marvel awaited discovery, the massive skull of the same ancient place. This formidable specimen, adorned with rugged tusks and weathered by the passage of millennia, stood as proof of the greatness of prehistoric life. But the saga did not end there. Alongside these magnificent relics lay a treasure of prehistoric remnants, each offering its own story of bygone epics. Among the treasures were fragments of bone, remnants of ancient vegetation, and traces of long-extinct creatures, all preserved in the embrace of the earth for years. These remarkable artifacts, the mammoth tusk, skull, and other prehistoric remnants, find their home in a museum, where they serve as captivating symbols of a time long past. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Once a mighty force of nature, the Jordan River flowed for centuries, shaping the landscapes and cultures that thrived along its banks. But now, as the sun beat down mercilessly upon the parched earth, the once mighty riverbed lay dry and barren, revealing secrets long hidden below its waters. In the heart of the Middle East, where ancient civilizations once flourished, Archaeologists and explorers crowded to witness the unprecedented event. Among them was Dr. Sarah Carter, a renowned archaeologist known for her expertise in uncovering the mysteries of the past. As she stood on the desolate riverbank, her heart raced with anticipation. The drying of the Jordan River had evacuated relics and artifacts that had been submerged for centuries, offering a rare glimpse into the forgotten chapters of history. Amidst the cracked mud and sun-baked stones, she and her team made their first discovery, a series of ancient tablets inscribed with cryptic symbols and forgotten languages. Each tablet seemed to hold the key to unlocking a new mystery, a tantalizing clue to the secrets buried below the river's surface. Dr. Carter marveled at the delicately carved statues and crumbling walls, each telling a story of a bygone era. But the greatest discovery of all lay hidden deep within the dried riverbed, a vast underground chamber filled with treasures beyond imagination. But as the sun began to set on the barren landscape, Dr. Carter knew that their journey had only just begun. The secrets of the Jordan River were vast and endless, and she was determined to uncover them all. What led to the drying up of the Jordan River, and how has this event impacted the surrounding environment and communities? What clues do the ancient tablets hold, and how do they shed light on the history of the region? Which one of these happenings beneath the Jordan River do you find intriguing? Share your thoughts and comments below. Number 5. Petra. Petra, located in Jordan, is one city where ancient history meets modern innovation. This captivating city, carved into the vibrant red sandstone cliffs over two millennia ago by the Nabataeans, offers a breathtaking journey through time. Suddenly, the towering rock falls apart revealing the inspiring treasury, Petra's most iconic building. This monumental structure, delicately carved and hidden in mystery, once sparked tales of hidden treasure, although it serves as a mausoleum today. But the treasury is just the beginning of Petra's magnificence. Once a bustling place of trade and commerce, the entire city is evidence of extraordinary craftsmanship. Every corner, every aspect bears the marks of years of meticulous carving, 
proof of the skill and dedication of its creators. Beyond the treasury, Petra reveals its rich way of ancient life. The Great Temple, a sanctuary to Nabataean gods, echoes with the echoes of ancient ceremonies. Sit high atop a mountain, it offers breathtaking aspects and whispers of bygone rituals. The royal tombs, carved into the cliffs for Nabataean elites, boast complicated carvings and architectural marvels, including the imposing coffin tomb. Yet perhaps the most astonishing aspect of Petra is its sheer size. Spanning over a hundred square miles, with an estimated population of 30,000 at its zenith, this mountain-carved city defies imagination. These remarkable discoveries, along with countless artifacts unearthed by archaeologists, continue to unravel the mysteries of Petra's past, inviting us to explore and marvel at the wonders of this ancient city. Number 4. Underwater Sculpture Park Located in Grenada, this mesmerizing park boasts 75 captivating sculptures stretched across 800 square meters. You won't need to dive too deep to catch a glimpse of these masterpieces. They're conveniently nestled near the surface, making them accessible to deep-sea divers and glass-bottom boat enthusiasts alike. So why did someone decide to craft an underwater art haven? Well, meet Jason DeCares Taylor, the creative genius behind this aquatic marvel. His vision extended beyond mere beauty. He aimed to provide sanctuary for marine life. In many parts of the world, flesh alone isn't sufficient habitats for sea creatures. By erecting these sculptures, Taylor offered a new haven for marine creatures to call home. That's why you might see these sculptures adorned with colorful skeletons and full of marine life, transforming them from mere artworks into thriving ecosystems. But the benefits don't stop there. The underwater sculpture park also serves as a protective shield for the surrounding beach. By drawing attention away from fragile skeleton ecosystems, it helps minimize the potential damage caused by enthusiastic beach explorers. In essence, this underwater masterpiece isn't just about art. It's a simplified sanctuary that fosters marine life and protects fragile ecosystems. Number 3. Mysterious Golden Orb a gleaming golden orb was discovered mysteriously on the ocean floor off the Pacific coast of Alaska. This smooth sphere, boasting an intriguing hole at its center, was stumbled upon by a remote-controlled submarine explorer lurking about two miles deep. Scientists at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in the U.S. have taken up the challenge to unravel the secrets of this shiny object. With tests and DNA analysis underway, the plot thickens. As they developed a remotely operated arm to gently interact with the enigmatic egg, they made a spine-chilling discovery, its delicate skin-like texture. The egg was then carefully broken up in the tube for further examination in the lab. During a live stream on August 30th, team members tossed around theories about its identity. Is it a hatched egg? A marine parasite? The possibilities are endless, leaving scientists and spectators alike on the edge of their seats. In the words of one scientist, it's like the beginning of a horror movie, a thrilling mystery waiting to be solved. Number 2. Spanish Stonehenge Spanish Stonehenge, often mistaken for ancient people's tombs, emerges once again after 50 years, breaking through the waters. First discovered in 1926 during a drought, these stone formations disappeared during a flood, only to resurface once more, now signaling another drought. Archaeologists, thrilled by their reappearance, eagerly anticipate the opportunity to study these enigmatic stones. What makes these stone formations even more intriguing is their resemblance to the famous Stonehenge in England, with massive upright stones arranged in circular patterns. Some of these stones measure over six feet tall and weigh several tons, adding to the mystery of their origins and purpose. Surrounding these stones, many human remains have been unearthed, leading archaeologists to speculate that they might actually be tombstones. However, further research is needed to draw concrete conclusions. As archaeologists delve deeper into their investigations, the mysteries surrounding these ancient structures are sure to captivate both scholars and enthusiasts alike. It's also worth noting that the region where these stone formations are found holds significance in Spanish history and culture, adding another layer of intrigue to the discovery. Additionally, the alignment of the stones with celestial events, such as mountains, suggests a possible astronomical or ritualistic purpose, similar to Stonehenge. As researchers continue their studies, they hope to uncover more clues about the people who built these structures and the beliefs that guided their construction. Number 1. The Vampire Squid Despite its intimidating name, the vampire squid, 
scientifically known as Vampiro Teuthis infernalis, is far from being a fearsome predator. In reality, it's a mesmerizing creature with intriguing adaptations that allow it to thrive in the deep ocean. Measuring less than a third of a meter in length, the vampire squid possesses unique features that set it apart from other members of its species. Its most striking characteristic is its cloak-like network, which gives it a distinctive appearance reminiscent of the mythical vampire. This network can be expanded like an umbrella to ward off potential threats or predators. Unlike most squids, the vampire squid doesn't actively hunt to kill. Instead, it relies on a diet of marine snow, which consists of dead organic matter and small particles that drift down from the surface. This scavenging behavior has earned it the nickname, the Scavenger of the Deep. Living in the deep, dark waters of the ocean's zone, the vampire squid has evolved remarkable adaptations to survive in this extreme environment. Its large, sensitive eyes are perfectly suited for detecting shining organisms and faint sources of light, allowing it to navigate and locate food in the darkness. Despite its dark-sounding name, it's a gentle and difficult-to-track-down creature that poses no threat to humans. Its slow metabolism and low energy requirements enable it to conserve energy in the deep sea, where food sources can be scarce and unpredictable. It remains a subject of fascination for marine biologists and researchers who are continually uncovering new insights into its behavior, ecology, and evolutionary history. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.